what up YouTube today's video I want to talk about the devil doesn't like when you take the initiative to better yourself right now if you follow me on Instagram or snapchat or Facebook uh, you know that I got baptized for the first time today right well, by the time I upload this video, it'll be like 12 in the morning. So I got baptized for the first time yesterday. But you know what I mean, right? And that was a a huge step for me. That was a huge accomplishment for me. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, just being lied to all your life and being shown a certain lifestyle, living a certain lifestyle, having a certain mind state. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, that's a huge step for me because four years ago, if you would have tried to ask me or tell me, hey man, you should, uh, you should get baptized. I would have been like, no, I'm not into that. You should have said, cause I was lost, right? Now, I just want to make this clear. I am not a Christian and I'm not religious. I am spiritual. And the thing about that is a lot of people, they don't get it. They say, you got baptized. That means you're a Christian. No, not really. No, that does not mean you're a Christian. You see what I'm saying? Everybody got their own belief system. That's what you believe in. That's what you believe in. You can't take nobody's faith away. Everybody got free will. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm spiritual. I'm not religious. And I'm not a Christian. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a spiritual person, real talk. A spiritual being. But, uh, yeah, that was a huge accomplishment for me today. And uh, it's crazy because I noticed, like, and, like, certain people, like I told you, if this was Fallout New Vegas, my perception skill would be 10. You know what I'm saying? And, um, when I was telling like certain people, hey, I'm finna get baptized today, I could see the hate and the evil in their eyes. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, the devil works through different people. Now a lot of people say, you always blaming someone, the devil, you always doing this, blah, blah, blah. One, everything is not cause of the devil. One, everything is not cause of the Illuminati. Let's just get that straight. You know what I'm saying? But, and the devil is not a physical person. The devil is a spirit. Just like the most high. God. I mean, I said God. <laughs> God, Jah, Allah, Buddha, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Lord Shiva. Whatever you believe in. Whatever name you go by. You see what I'm saying? That is a spirit. But it represents the light. You see what I'm saying? And it can manifest into physical form. What do you mean it can manifest in the physical form? That spirit can take over a human body as a host and speak through that person. You just see what I'm saying? So I see a lot of people, you know, I see the devil, you know, he was angry because the devil, he thought he had me in the palm of his hands because, you know, I'm being tested and I know I'm being tested. You see what I'm saying? But sometimes the illusion can be very thick and it's like sometimes... I forget who I am because, you know, the illusion is so real. I just, I feed into it, but then I have to calm down and breathe and be like, hey, man, I'm a special being. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nature being. You know what I'm saying? And all that's just a test. I just got to play it cool because the devil, he wants me to react messed up. The devil wants me to be like, nah, I'm not going to get baptized. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to speak for the most high. I'm going to do something crazy. See, the devil... He thought he had me in the palm of his hands. You see what I'm saying? And once he seen and once he saw and now seeing that I'm taking their initiative to better myself slowly but surely, he doesn't like that. So now the demonic attacks are going to get worse because I'm putting in the effort to better myself. See, the devil, he doesn't like me because I have a soul. The devil doesn't like you because you have a soul. You see, when you try to better yourself, People don't like that. You know, people want to see you fall. They want to see you fail. 
And it's sad to say, but that's just really what it is. You see what I'm saying? Let's just be speaking facts. That's really what it is. You see? And it's crazy because, like, I see the hate in certain people's eyes, but they try to do that fake smile and like, try to play like they really support you, but they really like, fuck. Damn. He made it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, the devil doesn't like that. See, when you take the initiative to better yourself, you know, the demonic attacks are going to get worse. Because now, Satan is like, what the fuck can I do now to make this guy break? What the fuck now can I make? What can I do now to make this girl break? You see what I'm saying? That's how Satan is thinking because everybody doesn't make it to the next level. Real talk. And now that I took that initiative, you know what I'm saying, to do something I never did because this was my first time ever getting baptized. Like I said, if you asked me four years ago, I would be like, no, I'm not into that. You see what I'm saying? Because I was lost. But it's like every day I'm starting to see the bigger picture clearly and clearly and clearly. You see what I'm saying? It's like me and the most high have a very strong connection and that's the thing what a lot of people don't understand see people always trying to judge somebody and I used to be like that you can't even judge nobody you may see somebody be like oh look at this thug look at this nigger you know see now that's how people be that's how people be I'm, I'm giving you blood raw facts oh look at this hoe look at this skank Oh, I know she probably slept with him. Oh, I know he probably slept with her. Oh, he probably stole that. Oh, you ain't bad at Somebody else bought that for you. You know how motherfuckers be. They like to judge. But then when they get to know you, they like, damn, I feel bad. See, you can't judge nobody because one, like for example, a lot of people always like to say, you're on drugs. That person's on drugs. That person is this, that person is that. Okay, if that person is on drugs, you don't know what led that person to be on drugs. You got to think. You got to use your mind. Real shit. You know that pink thing that's in your head? Looks like a whole bunch of bubble gum. You know, put perfectly together and placed inside of that white thing that's called your skull use your fucking brain you see what I'm saying you can't judge people you don't know what led that person to doing drugs you don't you don't know what led that person to being homeless and it works both ways that person could have just been an asshole decided to start doing drugs you know what I'm saying but that's never always the case but I'm sure you gotta look at it from both sides of the spectrum or that person could have came up from a fucked up environment. Like Dave Chappelle said, the real Dave Chappelle. No, nope, the real Dave Chappelle. Not the clone. The real Dave Chappelle. He said, people are not weak. People are strong people. Maybe their environment is just a little sick. That person could have came from a household of molestation. That person could have came from a household of abuse. That person could have came from a household of emotional distress. Destruction, verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse, spiritual abuse. Shit, they only can cope with it by doing drugs. So you can't judge that person. You know what I'm saying? And like when people like to judge females, oh, she's sleeping with him, she's sleeping with him, this, this, and that, blah, 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 or vice versa. He's sleeping with her, he doing this, he doing that. First things first. I noticed this, you know, I, you know, I'm very observant, you know, I peep the same, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, uh, I noticed this, that a lot of, uh, females, males too, but a lot of females who just like to have meaningless, meaningless sex with any guy or girls. Cause you know, we live in the modern day side of Mecca but you know, females that like to have sex with just anybody. They came from a household of molestation. Somebody touched on them. And that destroyed them. And they just in an endless cycle, you know what I'm saying, of destruction. You see what I'm saying? And they need to be saved from that. Like a male. 
he could have came from he could have came from a household of molestation. You know what I'm saying? And we live in a sick world. You know what I'm saying? His own parents could have been touching on him. Real shit. Cousins, sisters, brothers, anything. Real talk. And you, I wonder why this person do this. I wonder why this person do that. But then when you get to know them, and you really know their story, you feel shitty because you prejudge this person. You see what I'm saying? You can't do that, man. I learned that you can't do that, man. You don't know what led a person to... You don't know what led a person to do what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? People do what they do for a reason. You don't know what led them to that. Real talk. So I learned that. You know what I'm saying? From experience, you can't judge people, man. You can't... Like I said, I've been on some real... Real... A real heavy spiritual awakening. Like... You know what I'm saying? Times are changing. Things are... uh Things are uh, getting better for me slowly but surely. And I'm pretty sure they're getting better for you slowly but surely too. And you know the crazy thing about it? I was the only male today to get baptized. It was like six other females. You know what I'm saying? You know, little girls and, you know, grown women. But I was the only male to get baptized. And the ladies who were member, members of the church, you know, they was like, they was amazed. They was astonished. They were like, wow, more males you're following your lead you see what i'm saying so it's like i don't know like we a lot of men out here are lost you know what i'm saying real talk they are a lot of men out here are lost a lot of women are lost too but women are more in tune with their spiritual side you know what i'm saying they like the automatically right brain just because they're females but a lot of men were right brain but hey they start Hang with the wrong crowd, mess with the wrong female, you know what I'm saying? Just indulging in the wrong things, you know, not thinking they good enough, and you know what I'm saying? Not being told that they good enough, not getting support, and it gets to them, and I guess they just continue that endless cycle, and they, I'm not into that, that, that shit ain't gonna never work, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And this is like, it's sad. Our people out here are really sick, and it ain't no color thing, it ain't none of that. People, we should focus on black uh, mental health. It's not a color thing. That's the divide and conquer again. They want you to think it's blacks. It's this. It's that. No. It's humans in general. You know what I'm saying? I, I made a video about it. We live in a time where mental illness is prevalent. A lot of people out here are ill. You know what I'm saying? They fell into a cycle of destruction. They need to be saved from that. And the thing about it, what I was saying is like, going back to like, you can't judge people. Like, just like Mary Magdalene in the New Testament. She was a hooker. She had seven demons in her. But guess what? She was still chosen by God. She was still ordained. To be chosen and to follow God, the most high, real talk. And, you know, say people was judging her because of the stuff she was known for. She was known for sleeping with men, sucking off men for money. People judged her off that. But she still got into the kingdom of heaven because she never lost faith in the most high. You see what I'm saying? She was chosen from the beginning. She didn't know she was chosen. You know what I'm saying? Just like Peter. The fisherman. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know he was chosen. He denied Jesus three times. And that's the other thing. Like, a lot of people say, this Jesus character, this, this, and that. See, you got to remember, a lot of stuff has been whitewashed. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say the Bible is this, the Bible is that. That may be true. But you got to remember, like I said, a lot of stuff been whitewashed. The original, original, original Bible which was, of course, written very long ago, had the real information. Jesus Christ, which was a real person who really did die on the cross. Really, he really did sacrifice his life for us. Like, really, I'm trying to tell you, he was black. He was melanated. He was a Hebrew. He was a Moor. Whatever name you want to go by. He was a real deity. And... The thing about it is, people 
people hated him. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people say, like I said, the people, the Bible this, the Bible that, you gotta remember, a lot of stuff been whitewashed. So of course they're gonna put allegories and stories in it to throw you off. But you gotta be able to interpret the message. Just like a lot of people say, and at one point in time I said it too. You know what I'm saying? I said it too. Church is this, church is that, pastors are this, pastors are that. First things first, a lot of churches, I mean, not a lot, well, yeah, all churches are connected through the Vatican. You see what I'm saying? That's the sad part. But you got to remember, not all, well, I ain't going to say not all churches because you do have those independent churches out there, ministries and things of that nature. So I ain't even going to say that. But it is a lot of churches out there that's connected to the Vatican that's actually, you know what I'm saying, robbing people of their money, giving out false messages. But there are a lot of churches out there that's really speaking truth and really helping people, really healing people. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people go throw you off your game to keep you away from that. Oh, this pastor with this, this pastor with that. No, I used to say that. But like I say, see, when I went to church today, it's like every time I go to church, and this is when I was younger too, it's like, you know how you go through something in your life and you go to church, the pastor talk about exactly what you're going through? How can that be fake? That's something spiritual. The pastor don't know your life. The pastor don't know you. I mean, unless, you know, you met the pastor, you've been a member for, you know, some odd, you know, some odd years. But I'm just saying in general, like, you know, you go to church, the pastor don't know you. He don't know your life. So how come the stuff that you're going through now is the exact same topic that they talk about in church? How can that be fake? You see what I'm saying? How can that be fake? That's something spiritual. That's why I keep trying to tell people I'm not a Christian. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Real talk, I'm spiritual. If something, this is how you know if something real. If you speak to somebody, you hear a message, and that shit don't touch your heart, it don't touch your soul, it's not authentic. It's not real. But if you hear something, a message, you know what I'm saying, you see something, and you get that warm feeling inside, you know, that, you know, that warm, uh, what's it called? That warm, let's say, soothing feeling. And it's just like, you know that that's authentic and you know that's real. And you know that touched your soul and it spoke to your soul. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's something spiritual. Because if it don't speak to your soul, it ain't real. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to tell people. You got to know how to decipher the truth from the lies. That's what a lot of people don't understand. These real spiritual messages I'm trying to wake people up on. See, that's the thing. You got to remember, it's been a lot of deception. It still is a lot of deception out in this world. See, people going to say this and that to throw you off your game. Because that's what it's about. We in a real spiritual war. And I know a lot of people going to think, how can war be anything but physical? Oh, it is. Trust me. It's a war going on spiritually, physically. Mentally and emotionally. Real talk. And motherfuckers is trying to take your soul. Real talk. And a lot of people sold their soul. And you don't have to just sell your soul to Hollywood. You can sell your soul to a dead in marriage. You can sell your soul to a dead in relationship. You can sell your soul to selling drugs. You can sell your soul to taking drugs, with doing drugs, whatever you want to call it. You can sell your soul to sex. You can sell your soul to anything. That's what people don't understand. You say you're sort of violent, all type of stuff. You see what I'm saying? So you got to wake the damn up, man. Like, for example, people try to tell you, oh, don't listen to him. He's not real. He did this and that. See, that's, that's how you got to watch out for these haters. For example, right? Say, for example, somebody say, oh, I heard this about him. I heard this about her. Blah, blah, blah. He this, he that. They don't even know the person. They just seen the person. You know what I'm saying? Probably spoke to them, you know, whatever, you know, high and bad, whatever. And they telling you what they heard from another person about this person. If a person is telling you something about another person in a negative way, that person can be trying to keep you away from that person. For what reason? 
that the bad person could be a hater. But the thing about it, this is what I learned. See, you can say whatever you want to say about another person, but if a person don't know, it's in human instinct for them to find out for themselves. So then when they actually go meet this person, they be like, this person was saying, you this, you this, I heard you, this, this, and that. And they actually come talk to you and see that you're nothing like that. That was somebody trying to keep you away from the truth. Right? Just like how they say, oh my God, the number 13 is bad. Trying to keep you away from the truth so you don't even look it up. I remember I was in that stage in my life. And they were saying, because I remember I seen some stuff about the number 13 a long time ago. They're like, oh, this is a double number. And I'm like, I ain't fucking with that shit at all. You see how it fuck with your mind, make you not even want to research it at all. That's how they get you. Real talk, that's how they get you. But like I say, you got to go be willing to go find out the truth for yourself. Because anybody can say this, this, and that. That's why I tell people, don't believe what I say. Do your research. Because I'm telling you the truth. And a lot of the stuff I'm saying is spiritual. It ain't get to this dimension yet. But I'm telling you the truth. But go do your research. So then you do your research. You're like, damn, he really wasn't lying. So that's even more confirmation on top of confirmation. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. Wake the damn up. These real spiritual messages. The devil don't like you because you got a soul. Remember that. The devil do not like you because you got a soul. When you make the effort to better yourself, they're going to do whatever they can to stop you. Think about it. Why do you think a lot of celebrities, and I know I said all celebrities uh, are possessed by uh, the real lizard, which is reptilians, which is true, but you got different status of celebrity, like the celebrity that's up and coming, but still got a huge following, a lot of them probably haven't been to the clone lab yet, so they still got their moral code, they, you know, you know, they still got their uh, ability to think before they get overtaken by them parasites, before they get overtook by them parasites, but you got them celebrities who've been in the game for 10 plus years, them bastards gone, 5 plus years, them bastards gone. But you got the up and coming people that got huge followings doing millions of views. They still got the right way to think. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they not, you know what I'm saying, overtaken yet. But why do you think they get so much hate? Why? The devil don't. The devil doesn't like them because they have a soul. Real shit. Once you start to try to better yourself, the devil gonna come at you with all type of shit. He gonna come in the form of your family members. He gonna come in the form of your co-workers, your boss, your supervisor, your principal, real talk, your motherfucking gardener, whatever. He gonna do whatever he can to stop you. But notice, when you on the wrong path, and you doing shit you ain't supposed to, a motherfucker ain't gonna say a word. You gonna think they got zipper for lips, cause that shit gonna be shut. They not gonna say shit, they gonna let you keep going down that, that, that road of destruction. And once you start to better yourself, they, oh, hell no, we can't, motherfuckers scared of that. People scared of that, the devil don't like you because you got a soul. Remember that, I'm trying to tell you, wake the damn up, these real prophetic messages, real shit.